And as health officials urge Americans to get their first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, the Food and Drug Administration is expected to announce some people need a third dose, a booster, to protect them from the Delta variant. CBS4's Austin Carter is live at vaccination site in Lauder Hill with that story. Austin. Hey, Lauren. Well, some folks out here that we spoke with getting their vaccine for the first time today say that they're just not sure yet about how they feel about a third dose. However, others out here who have already dealt with loss due to this virus say they're all for it. The Food and Drug Administration expected to soon authorize a COVID-19 booster shot for those with compromised immune systems. This is hospitalizations in states like Florida and Texas are at their highest in six months. He died Tuesday of the COVID. Michael Felder is all for another shot if it means saving lives. He just lost his mother. My mom insisted that I get, get the shot. She insisted before I can come back into her home. Michael was out at the vaccination site at Central Broward Park in Lauder Hill Thursday to make sure his cousin also got vaccinated. The virus taking a major toll on his family. My sister-in-law is in intensive care and my oldest sister just got out of the hospital at Westside Regional for COVID. But some tell CBS4 News that they are skeptical about a third shot for the immune compromise. <sighs> Hard to say right now. What they have to do, what they have to do. They just have to do it. Less than 3% of Americans are believed to have compromised immune systems. Officials say at some point all Americans may need a booster shot. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky touting the benefits of another dose. FDA is working with Pfizer and Moderna to allow boosters for these vulnerable people. An additional dose could help increase protection for these individuals, which is especially important as the Delta variant spreads. Health officials in South Florida continue to push for folks to roll up their sleeve. According to the latest vaccination data from the CDC in Broward County, just over 50% of the population is fully vaccinated. And in Miami-Dade County, just over 60% is fully vaccinated. And the vaccination site here at Central Broward Park is open Monday through Friday. However, today they'll be closing in just about 45 minutes. We have more resources for you on vaccination sites and COVID-19 testing sites across South Florida at CBSMiami.com. For now, we are live here in Lauder Hill. I'm Austin Carter, CBS4 News. Austin, thanks for that update.